I said, yeah, how you doing? Sorry, my eyeball itches. So today's video, yeah, we're going to talk about my go-to palettes. There is about eight of them. I will apologize for the bare face. I haven't filmed in a little while. And it's like, you ain't, I ain't seen y'all in, boom, bare face. We're doing this chill style. I just got off work. My body is done. And yeah, it's cold. Well, I'm cold. Just came home, come upstairs. There's like a damn icebox. Like, you can freeze meat, my damn man. Girl. It's a series of unfortunate events right here. But yeah, so I thought it would be fun to talk about my go to palettes and why they're my go to and then show you guys like little bitty swatches or whatever. And then just kind of give you guys basically a review. I don't do a lot of reviews on my channel just because I, uh, I'm very repetitive when I talk sometimes. And I say um a lot just because my brain is like all over the place. Like I, I will literally be thinking like three or four things before I even say it. And then be like the first thing is um. <laughs> so my brain's always going 100 before I can even get what I, exactly what I mean out. So I, I try not to do a lot of reviews, okay? But like I said, I thought this would be a fun little, a different type of situation. Because I don't, I don't, again, I don't really do this situation. Um, but yeah. So anyway, first off, my first go-to palette. These are all shimmers, baby. You probably, like, they're all shimmers. Why are they your go-to? I'm going to show you why they're my go-to. Like, if I need a shimmer that's going to knock me off my feet. Like, if I want my eyeshadow to have that va boom. With the tad bit of fallout, depending on which brand I use, you know. This is what I go for, baby. This is my Give Me Glow slash Clarity Cosmetic Eyeshadows. Let me swatch my favorite shade for you, baby. Let me swatch her. Do you see that shine? Do you see it, baby? Okay, this is my second favorite. And then my third one. I generally like all of them. I wouldn't have kept them if I don't. But these are the three that I use the most of. Mostly this one. The white gold all over the eye. The lid. Called, this one's called All in Ice, by the way. Or Halo. This one's Halo. I think it's Halo. Halo. I wanna see a Halo. 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 This one's called Glamorous. And then this one is... Come on. I don't know. I think this one's from Clarity. It might be from Give Me Glow from the palette. I did depot a couple of palettes from Give Me Glow some. Or Clarity, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, because it's from the Wedding... Small wedding palette. But yes, bitch. Look at that reflex. Look at that girl, like light. Look how shimmery. Do we have fallout? Yes. Is it worth the fallout? Yes. Do I still consider using a glitter glue or primer under these? Yes. <sighs> I don't know if y'all see all the powder glitter. You're going to have some flair. You're going, you're going to, it's going to happen. It's inevitable. But the shine and the longevity of these shadows, I I definitely enjoy. I have I got the worst news ever is the fact that they're making their pants sizes smaller because people can't go through a whole palette. I mean, you can. Or all shadow. I mean, you can. But as being humans and being consumers, we overconsume and we want everything that puts things in a back burner. And then you put shit to the back burner and you just never use it. Do I, if I wore more makeup, do I see myself in it? Yes, I have a pretty nice dent in Halo. Girl, let me tell you, even Rose Remix, I have a pretty dent in it. Look how pretty. Like, I will use every last shade in here. Now, I've only used Rose Remix on my lid like one time, but that one time was enough to make me want to keep it because at first I was really questioning it because I'm like, that it's not gonna look good on me you know it's not gonna it's not gonna pop like i wanted to it's gonna look weird and it definitely did not look weird but 
the formula itself is really soft and crumbly. So, if you're not a good, big fan of the soft and crumbly situation, then you probably won't like it. Now, Clarity Bears, I don't... I have a love-hate relationship right now. They're a little bit more chunkier, okay? I don't remember which one's Clarity. Hold on. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one's called Lily. Lily's pretty, but it's a tad bit chunky. Like, it's a little bit, it has a thicker formula than Claire, um, Give Me Glow. So, it's a little bit on the thicker side. But, again, the pigmentation, the shine is definitely there. These are a whopping, like, seven-something dollars a piece. I definitely would recommend waiting for them to go on sale. I did all that, and I have, I don't have any wipes, y'all, so I have cotton squares. I'm going to buy some tomorrow, because I'm going to go... I gotta go to the dentist tomorrow, so I'm gonna head out early so I can go to the store, get some shopping before I go back to work. I gotta go to work, see them so right after the damn dentist. I'm gonna be late. I ain't rushing home. I'm not rushing. I'm not, I ain't gonna lie. I am not rushing. I was gonna be late anyway. I gotta go to the dentist at two thirty. I'm gonna be at work at four. There's no guarantee I'm gonna go back at two thirty, cause last time I didn't go back to damn near four o'clock. But yeah, this is one of my go-tos. I definitely appreciate it. And I'm glad I decided to go the single route because if I didn't, girl, I would have been screwed because I would have never known about that. So anyway, the next palette, y'all, is a newfound favorite. And I'm not normally a Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette type of girl. If you guys do not know, I live and breathe and sneeze and love for that Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. I recently picked up the pressed version, but I also have the loose version just in case this doesn't work out. I'm gonna keep this, but yeah. I did recently pick up the Huda Beauty Press Powder because hopefully it looks just as good as this is on my skin. But I've never once really sat down and explored Huda Beauty's whatever. The last thing I tried was a concealer, and then I, I have the concealers, I like those, and the setting spray. The setting spray had so much fragrance, I couldn't do it. Like, I just smelled like somebody's grandma, and I was like, nah, I'll pass. And it wasn't like the one scent that just goes away, it's like one scent that lingers in your goddamn nose all day, just like, hmm, okay. But, my skin looks nice with the powder, my skin looks nice with the concealer, no breakouts, no nothing. I enjoy it. The spray, it was just too much. You know, they probably took the scent out now. I don't know. I don't really reuse setting sprays. I literally only own one setting spray. Yeah. I literally only own one setting spray. And I hardly ever use that one. So, it is what it be. But, I tried her eyeshadow formula. She was doing something on Sephora where they were like 30% off or whatever. So, basically, who the beauty powder, who the beauty Huda Beauty palettes are like $65 or whatever. I got this for like $31. I want to say $30 to $31 or something like that. And I ain't even mad at it. Do I like the whole palette? No. Do I consume the whole palette? No. Okay. There is some flaws. The pros and cons to this shenanigans. Pro is the formula is nice. The color story is up my alley. It's way more on the neutral side than, you know, most people would like, but I live, breathe for the neutrals. I am a neutral baddie. I love me some neutrals. My my whole con though is it has two, actually has three cream shades. One right here, one right here, one right here. I'm like, you could put all three of those shades with the this light shade being on top in one column. So you don't have to have, you don't have to worry about getting powder in here then having to worry wipe that off like i don't like when they put cream with powder because i'm a messy person and depending on the shadows and how it's placed it can look messy okay and i don't like that but the formula of these eyeshadows are so immaculate like when i tell you they blend they self they blend themselves baby i love this six pan section right here with the exception of this one and this one. Okay, so basically, everything I've, I only use this shade. 
the shade, the shade, the shade, the shade, and then these six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven shades out of the six shades that I use. You know, make that make sense. <laughs> but the formula is again immaculate. I definitely would recommend if you can catch it on sale. Would I pay the sixty five? Whatever, no. Especially because they're not like unique colors where you ain't gonna see them anywhere or you're not gonna have. But Steve Gorgeous and I do ten on the ten recommend, baby. Um and getting sleepy. Hold on. I got to wake up. Or we're going to be living this whole moment. Like, I, that's that's how tired I am. I didn't sleep last night, so. Jimmy going to wake up. And the last one is my fucking cat tub. Because that's why I couldn't sleep last night. All right, so going into another, like, pricey brand, I was really, like, on edge of putting these, putting this in here because it's still fairly new. I have used this palette more than I thought I would, and it's been one of my go-to palettes since I've gotten it, and it is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 3. If you guys do not know, I, I think I said it in one of my videos. I may or may not have back when my, when a video of what Patrick Ta where the hell did my damn house used to go? I just had a moment. Bitch, they way over there. Oh, yeah, I took my pants off. <laughs> I took my work pants off. They're super very pretty. My feet are cold. Where my shoes? They over there. But, um, in that video, I told you guys, I'm not a huge fan of Patrick Tall's shimmer shades. I don't know what formula he didn't decide to call himself doing in that second one, but all five of my shadows have hard pan. They don't show up on the eye with a brush. I gotta use my finger. And then I'm oily, so my finger my fingers produce oil, and it's just a hot mess. Like I don't like the shimmers. I don't know what I said. I don't know what he called himself doing, but this and that ain't an eight bitch. Like this is not an eight bitch. When he dropped this last one, I was not going to get it. I'm like, oh my god, it's just another matte and shimmer palette that I probably already have because Lord knows I have a lot of neutrals. And when I realized it was a completely matte palette, and bitch, and you love his matte formula, I had to get it. I did. So, I love the packaging is this one on this one. I don't like the other two as much because it was too damn reflective. Like, this is reflective, obviously. You can see the light beaming off a bit. But it's not, like, backlash in your face, your type situation. Like, oh. you can see the reflective situation, but that's as good as it's going to get. Oh, my God. Open says me. I don't know why I can't open this. So, yeah. Anyway, if you've never heard of Patrick Tall, Patrick Tall is a makeup artist. And he recently, about a couple years ago, came out with his own brand. Now, he likes to put cream with product powders. I am not a huge cream with powder person. I prefer my creams separate from my powders just because I like to be a little bit messy with my eyeshadow palettes. I'm not going to lie. I like to see that my shit is getting used, not just sitting on the shelf. But then again, 95% of this stuff sits on the shelf anyway. So, But with that being said, though, he does provide a little cover for the cream shadows and this one he said it is a little bit different you get a little bit more lead away with this because it, he wants you to be able to smoke it out if you don't if you want a more smoky tone but yeah i don't really wear browns but i did try both of them they actually did pretty well i was like i was actually like i'm surprised you know i really was blown away but i feel like this formula his max are a little tad bit different than the one that we originally have but it may not be because either way it goes y'all if y'all want a completely all matte palette and y'all are not a spray splurge this is a good splurge baby they are completely matte they are beautiful they they blend themselves okay oh my god oh 
four or five more palettes. Okay, we're gonna do four more palettes. So the next one is a palette that I never really thought about, and I never thought it would be like one of my go-to palettes, like ever. Ever. My brain is feeling weird. It is the Laura palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Now, before anybody comes to me, I own every Blend Bunny palette, eyeshadow palette that's came out. So thus far, I did order the Sickly Sweet palette. I do not understand the hype behind certain palettes and layouts. Okay, like there's so much drama. I, I'm Hold on, I'm going off topic because my brain is scrambled eggs right now. I need to go to bed. Alright, we guys. It was really hard to pick a palette from Blend Bunny because I have all of the palettes. But I'm like, which one do I use the absolute most? And I had to, I had to give it to the lore. Now, I originally picked this up because I seen Makeup by Torrance with this. And he did a look. Heather Austin did a look. Um, there are several YouTubers that did a look, I'm like, oh my god, that made me pretty. But then I'm like, oh yeah, I have fucking undertones that ain't gonna work on my, on a lot of people or me. So, you know, what the hell is the point? But yeah, anyway, I'm just rambling. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, I really do need to go to bed. I'm at the delusional state. I'm having a whole conversation <laughs> with y'all. Uh, y'all don't even know what I'm talking about. Hi, uh, anyway. Gotta, gotta push you through. That's what happens when you don't sleep. But yeah, the Lore palette is one of my most used palettes. Especially because I am not creative, okay? I am very far not creative. So I love when Blend Bunny became a guess her palettes like this, Maggie. Because it makes me, it makes it easier for me to create looks. Now the sickly sweet palette is a little bit make, more chaotic, and honestly, I probably only play with the blues because I can put blues together. But I, I ain't gonna lie, I really do prefer the layout, her layout when she does it like this because it, again, it makes it easier. Except this row looks like garbage on me. This green row, bitch, I will never wear that row again. But. Um, all the other rows, yeah, they're pretty. You know, they give me some pinks and purple. You know, you got you some blues, you got some teals. I've never went straight down the teal line. I've always mixed it with the blues, but I will never do this row again by itself. I look stupid. But this shade on the lid is pretty. Folklore, girl. Like, she was gorgeous. I have a pretty dent in, in the bottle. I'm a genie in a bottle. You gotta love me the right way. If you wanna be with me, there's a sunshine. I don't know what that song's gonna be stuck in my head now. But yeah, this is folklore. This is genie uh, in a bottle. Really pretty shades. I live for blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors. Black is my all time favorite color. And this palette really just hit it on a mark with formula. The shimmer shades are not my fa my favorite. I don't really, I like them, but they be like, they little wishy-washy. The mattes, chef's kiss. Again, another formula that's really easy to blend out and is worth the while, okay? But yeah, Blend Bunny holds my heart, which is why I have almost all of the palettes. Actually, I have all of the eyeshadow palettes besides the Trove. I just can't spend $75. I can't do it. So anyway, you guys, this is the Be Perfect Carnival X Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette. Now, these next two palettes are by Be Perfect, you guys. These are the palettes I go to if I don't want to use my bigger palettes, my bigger palette for colorful looks. But I love how she arranged the colors within this palette. You have like your blue, green, greens, and khakis. You have your neutrals. Fading down to your pinks and purples, you know, you anybody can rock this palette and create a look if you're creative. I mean, then again, it gives you like a little quad, that's a whole little quad, that's like for me a little quad, 
that may also may be a little quad, depending on how you look at it. So, you can, oh, I tried to touch my nail, but oh, it's my cat. I'm like, you can break this palette down and create some really, really bomb looks. I think this is the one of the ones I was using in my Barbie doll look, because, bitch, who doesn't love this color story? I want to get the Interstellar palette that she came out with, Stacey Marie. She's a UK makeup artist. I want to get the Interstellar one because I thought that was really pretty. I don't know when they're going to restock it or if they're going to restock it. And then again, I'm like, I really don't necessarily need it because I have so many browns. I have so many neutrals. But the formula on the Be Perfect Wet eyeshadows, girl, do not sleep on it. If you haven't got these palettes, I definitely recommend. Or if, at least even try and blend bunny cosmetics because their formula is really nice. But yeah, I would have to say Be Perfect has her beat. So this one is the Carnival XL Remastered. I don't remember. I think it was the shade they changed or something. I forgot which one. They changed one of the shades of pink. So. Yes. Again, the formula is beautiful. Like, it literally takes zero effort to blend in these eyeshadows. The quality of these eyeshadows is quite, quite nice. Is it my... Favorite palette again? No, neutrals hold my heart, baby. Like neutrals hold a special part in my heart. Colors hold a special part in my life, but hell was. But just the outlay in general from just the smallest amount of eyeshadows, you know, can create such a beautiful impact. But these shadows create a beautiful impact and blend out themselves. So. It be what it be, baby. I am so sleepy. I don't know how much longer my brain's gonna take without falling asleep. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, last two, last two. I was really hesitant to putting these in because of the fact that they are customizable and you sometimes you the colors I choose or whatever don't always go together. And sometimes, um, The, what was I about to say? I got a sneeze. Oh my god. Sorry, y'all. Everybody got a sneeze. And then, yeah. Anyway, I don't I lost all the trans thought. Anyway, we're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep going. Don't mind me. I'm I'm tired as fuck. <sighs> oh, damn it. Damn it, tail. So yeah, anyway, my go to palette is this one. This Maybe if I won't, if I don't warn you, it'll come out because it's like right there. <sighs> but yeah, this is my go-to palette, baby. Like, I live for this. Hold on, because it's upside down. Technically, I when I did it, I said this is supposed to way it's supposed to go, but I didn't realize I had the palette upside down when I was putting the shadows back in. Do you see how many shadows is in here? And y'all think I'm gonna take them out and do it again? No, man. So yeah. Either way, go. It don't matter. But there are so many varieties of formula in here. Like the top ones are color pop. This one, these right here are clarity. We got Morphe. We have Tati. We got Luna Beauty. For my like first Lysa Drag palette. It's a plethora of brands in here. Some are cracked. I actually hit pan in one shade. I use that shade for my brows. The palette itself, you guys, is immaculate just because, one, I didn't even know they sell palettes this big. Two, I like being able to have all my singles in one spot. Three, the mass amount of different textures, excuse me, varieties and whatever is, um, oh, I 
I forgot what I was going to say because I'm too worried about sneezing. Anyway, the bright mask variety of textures, brands, formulas, I like it. Okay? I like it. This is definitely one of those palettes you have to pry out of my day called hands. Now, there probably will be some shades in here, like, that I can probably get rid of because I don't think I'll ever use it. But that's about it. Like, I, I don't... I don't hardly declutter my singles, you guys, because singles are my life. Like, oh, are you kidding me? I just washed this. Oh, thank God for bleach. Thank God for bleach. But yeah, this is my go-to. Like, if I wear makeup every day type situation. This is the last part we're going to talk about, you guys. This is my other big double XL. I have a feeling they're doing away with these because these were on sale for like 15 bucks or something like that. I don't know. They were on sale last week. They're probably still on sale. I ain't even looked, to be fair. They were moved. They really, this only had the orange version left. God damn it. All of my damn jacket. The hell is that? Oh, I shut on another eyeshadow. But yeah, this is my like go to colorful palette before I started buying colorful palettes. And if I don't feel like using this one, I use the other ones. But it, majority of the time, if I'm wearing a colorful look and I haven't filmed it, I'm using this palette. Because yeah, now this has the make or uh, Michaela. Um, one palette, the Bikila 2 palette, the Glam Light Happy Hour Collection, the Blend Bunny Blends palette, the Blend Bunny All Done Up palette. In here, we have some Beauty Creation singles right there. Like, the middle part right here is all Blend Bunny. And then it branches out on each side of, like, Michaela and the Happy Hour Collection. So, a lot of these are fragile. The ones that are broken are from the ones from Glam Light or... From Blend Bunny. Yeah, yeah. I kind of dropped it, so a lot of things went left. But this is, like, the one palette I would use if I was, like, in doing a colorful look. Because, like I said, this is my palette, my colorful palette before I bought all those. So, again, different textures, different formulas. Still a great palette, okay? This one doesn't move around, though, because I kind of glued those two on, but that is it. So anyway, you guys, that is it for my go-to palettes. I do apologize, like, quote like this video. I did start to fall asleep. I'm not gonna lie. And I said, I want, I gotta sneeze. Like, my nose is itching to sneeze. But I can't sneeze. It will not come out. But anyway, my delusional ass is about to take her funky fat ass to sleep. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'll talk to y'all on my next one. Bye.